Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well today and I have an interesting video for you guys. Now this is going to be something different especially since this is my anime channel but this is yours truly that anime guy and this is going to be a Photoshop tutorial of showing you how I create how to create a simple custom thumbnail for an anime channel or no matter what type of channel you are um, you network on YouTube but this is my anime channel so guys I am going to be using a Photoshop but I have Photoshop CS 5.1 it doesn't matter which Photoshop you have but let us open up an image now this is an image I took not too long ago but guys the important thing is when it comes to a custom thumbnail it is important to um, to do when it comes to um, YouTube because you want someone to um, you want someone attention when it comes to clicking your thumbnail picture for your video because that is not only important besides the quality of your video so this um, picture you see right here this is the blue exorcist limited edition movie and the series part one and I am going now you don't want to mess with the um, the original um, image when it comes to taking this photo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it and create a new layer and it's going to make a background copy and uh, another thing I would say to pay attention to guys is when you want to know the correct size on um, uploading a custom thumbnail on YouTube go to image go to image size and you want to select um, 1280 by 720. Now the thing is, guys, most people use large a larger size probably because it's a blog channel or a uh, or website. But besides that, if it's a YouTube channel, I think that's the best um, width and height unless you got unless you use a different size. But that's just my opinion. And the resolution I keep the same at 72. You click OK. Now, um, a cool thing you guys could do when it, um, when it comes to creating a custom thumbnail. Let's say you want to get rid of that um, the the background. Let's say you want the background to be like a a black and white copy. So um, I'm gonna click on the quick selection tool. And when I mean black and white copy, like you know, kind of a, like an old school um, photo, you know, that you don't want no color into it. Now the quick selection tool, you could click and it will drag that what it wants to select. I think when you click it's easier than instead of dragging it. And then I have the plus sign select which gives you to select the um to select the area you want, but if you want to like get rid of this because it's selecting the anime you want to hit the minus sign there we go I don't like dragging it so much because sometimes you can mess up there we go and I think it looks fine that way so then I am going to go to image adjustments and by um, Brents now I'm gonna make sure that's uh, minus 100 and that is also minus 100 and as you guys can see it gives you that bl um, black and white effect in the background which is pretty cool and then what I do is um, the quick selection tool, I double tab. And guys, you should know by now in the title, I mean, I'm using a Mac. This works um, with PC as well, but the options might be a little different. And then what I do is um, I double tab on the um, layer with the image, the background copy. And I go to inner shadow because I think this is pretty cool if you want to create a border. So the choke, I make sure it's like at um, at least, I would say 90. And the size, you don't want to mess with the size too much because if you do, you end up, you know, just showing, you know, a little detail unless you are being creative. I put it like at, I would say around 24, which is pretty cool. You could change the color and the blend mode as well, which gives you all these options. 
and let's say if you want to change the color um, to blue I think that looks pretty cool but I like to keep it black because it looks like it goes with the theme a little better and then I am going to click OK and then let's say you want to use a cool font so I am going to use this font and I am going to make sure it's like a like a sky blue and then I'm going to type it down here and I'm going to type blue exorcist if I could spell <laughs> limited edition and then I'm going to put it right down here and then I'm going to double tap on the new layer that has the font that I just created and then I'm going to go to drop shadow and drop shadow um, I don't mess with the distance too much but the spread um, I'm going to just mess with that just a little bit and then the size I'm not going to mess with that too much and there you go you could change the color of the size and the blend mode as well Cover, color overlay that's an easy quick way to change the color if you guys are wondering you got all these options in a shadow out of shadow um, in a globe you got you it's just so many possibilities you could do when it comes to um, Photoshop and I'm going to click OK and show um, transform controls and tra show transform controls um, you actually can control the um, the width and the height basically when it comes to the font you chose and it's going to say apply and then I am going to not want it to be so much there so I'm going to change it to like at least 80 percent like it's see-through which is pretty cool I like I said guys there's so many things you could do with Photoshop and there you go guys I just hope you enjoyed the show and enjoyed this presentation of showing you how to create just a simple um, custom thumbnail when it comes to Photoshop but guys let me know what you think about the video in the comments below and guys be sure to check out this website um, thefont.com thefont.com as you guys are wondering what font I just used is an awesome um, website that gives you free access to download um, different types of uh, font no matter if you are a Mac user or a PC user I do would say guys to check out their website if you are creating custom thumbnails but guys be sure to hit up that thumbs up button will help me out a lot if you want to talk to me on a personal level I'm on Twitter and don't forget guys you can hit me up on my YouTube channel or Google Plus as well and guys I hope really hope you enjoy the show be stay tuned for a new episode guys coming soon and I will see you guys in the next episode peace